So I decided just to make a video going through some of the comments on my last um, and also I wanted to mention a few things. Um, so we will just get started with that. I'm also eating oatmeal. Someone like mentioned something like I can't do um, rectal syringe with glutathione like it makes me have to go so bad like I think she said like within like I don't know she either said like five or eight minutes like she just like really 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 had to go um, like too quick. And like you're supposed to at least keep it in for 15. Um, 15 should be your target. Um, the best thing I've noticed is sometimes I'll make it to 15 and I'll like go like way surpass 15. You know, sometimes 30 minutes, but like around the 30 minute mark, like really like start to like feel it. So yeah, 15 should just be the least amount of time that you keep it in for. And um, so if this does happen, um, ask yourself one of two things, um, how much is your dosage? And so um, when I'm doing it, I'm doing like 4,000 milligrams all at once. Um, for you, it might be better to kind of um, break up your dosages. So maybe just do 2,000 milligrams at a time. And this might help you also make sure you're not adding in too much baking soda. Honestly, you don't, we really don't need like a lot of baking soda. Like the glutathione, especially depending on whatever brand you're using, it, it's going to like you know break down and start dissolving but you will see that there will be some clumps that's when you start adding in some baking soda and um you know you'll see it kind of start to dissolve but like the baking soda is an um kind of like an expectant like it will like just make you like yeah <laughs> it can definitely speed up things um so don't go too crazy with it um and so yeah if you're like trying to do like four thousand or six thousand milligrams all at once maybe just you know cut it in half and just do some at that time and then you could even like right after you hold it in for 15 to however long you can do it just do it right after that you know if you don't if you didn't want to do like a morning dose and an afternoon dose or like you know whatever so that's one thing um the most important is to make sure like you really have to schedule this out around the times that you are naturally having to go number two. Um, if you have not yet gone to number two for the day, then as soon as you put that in, it not only are you gonna have like, you know, the food that you've eaten, like, you know, it's pretty much, it's processed and it's ready to come out. Not only is that going to be behind it, but you also have, you know, the glutathione and the baking soda, which, you know, it, it almost acts as a suppository like you know for people who are um <laughs> for people who uh, are have issues you know having their bowel movements like you know so you just sped things up so i've had that happen where you know i had not had my time for the day i had not emptied everything out yet and i tried to put it in and i could only keep it in for like seven minutes and you know i feel like it was the biggest waste I feel like it was the biggest waste because even though I was able to create some bile in that seven minute time frame, um, I did notice that I did not have the continuous bile like for the next two to four hours or so, which has been happening pretty regularly. So hold it in long enough to where it is really absorbed into you know your bloodstream and just everything. And you'll notice that, you know, the bile and everything um, will continue producing even after you've expelled all of that water. It, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, that's just how it works. <laughs> so I'm not sure if my body is going to taper off on that, but as of right now, every time I've been doing it, except for you know the one time when I hadn't gone to the bathroom for the day, so obviously that made it even harder for me to hold it in. I've been making bile hours after I've already gone to the bathroom like a couple times like it's pretty crazy but also like like I said before this could be a part of the detox phase where it's just really um hitting me strongly I don't know but um that bile is like I know it's it smells awful like it smells bad it smells like you know sulfurish eggs it's rotten it just it smells bad but um that watery thin bile um that is what's making your body make even more glutathione and guys the glow is so real i absolutely love it like <laughs> i'm i'm getting addicted to it um i just i wasn't getting that much of a glow off of the uh, acetyl pills not that it was not working but um first off uh for the acetyl, it's probably best to take more than just the 600 milligrams of the acetyl. Um, so if you wanna, you know, see more results, maybe take four pills a day or something like that instead of just doing the two pills of 300 milligrams per pill. So 
yeah so with this like i'm seeing just just the bile is making my skin glow so 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 much um but we'll start getting through the um the questions or some of the comments um can you take glutathione supplements rectally like can you put glutathione pills up there um you know for the most part i've been noticing that those uh the casing like the supplement casing it will like melt away so just basically um if you guys have ever used like the boric acid suppositories that i have basically it's just like a clear casing you put the entire suppository in and you know it does over you know basically just melts because of you know your body heat um so i would look into whatever the casing is made of i don't know if um, your casing is made of gelatin or whatnot and um, just compare it to the casings of other suppositories and see what the ingredients are if it's the same ingredient then i see no reason why it would not um yeah like i mean it, it kind of it kind of should i've never tried it though so don't take my word for it but i'm just thinking back to like the boric acid suppositories if you see the video that i did on the boric acid suppositories they just look like regular pills like it's just the clear casing and you know you basically you can put whatever in it in this case boric acid um in your case you'll obviously have glutathione in it um someone said i love drinking beer every day and during the evening i relax with a bottle of wine we'll stay with rubbing cream yeah guys i don't want to like i need another bite of oatmeal i'm kind of hungry i don't want to say anything bad about acetyl, you know because half of the time i was still drinking and when I was drinking, it wasn't just like a glass of wine, like, you know, it was like liquor, it was like shots. And so you're like, you're supposed to do what you're supposed to, like, you're supposed to know what to do with glutathione. Like if you're drinking and you're doing stuff that you're not supposed to be doing, and then you're not getting the results that you want, like the glutathione can only do so much for you. So you have to like, make sure like, you know, you're following the rules. <laughs> um, one of the most important is like being consistent. And you know, the second is, you know, you have to watch out what you're drinking because alcohol will deplete. Not only that, it, it not only uh, depletes some of your glutathione um, stores, which we don't know how much it depletes it. So that's something you'd have to do blood work and see after like a night out or after drinking, like what are your levels like prior to that night out and then after, you know, having fun. And just see what it does for you but um you know alcohol you know, depletes vitamin c it depletes glutathione like all of the good antioxidants it you know basically it depletes you and uh, that's also why a lot of people like who are watching out for their skin especially if they have acne or if they're worried about premature aging like um you know alcohol is one of those things that will uh, kind of suck out all of those nutrients and any vitamins that you are getting and so it could you know it, it's not the best it's just not the best so for some people you know not to say just don't take glutathione at all but just know that your results might not be as dramatic as someone who is like refraining from drinking so for me i've been six weeks no drinking so far and so but you know i've been on glutathione now for like four months so you know <laughs> I'm just now starting to stop drinking so who knows how much better I would feel about my results if I would have just not drank the whole time um, someone else says what kind of lotion do you use um, right now I'm not using a, a lotion because I, I ran out but I still swear by the naturally me by Karen um, her lactic acid lotion but um my favorite of hers is actually the um, it's like the skin brightening one so like it's a it's a mixture and it has basically like a lot of different skin lightening ingredients as well as like aloe vera i think it has shea butter like it's just it's really really moisturizing but it's it's like a hard hitter like it's just not it's not just like one type of lightening agent it has like a lot of different stuff in it so it works 100 percent, it works i'm thinking of taking liposomal glutathione 20 milliliters three times a day do you think i will see results quickly or is it a waste of money currently i'm taking it twice a day so 40 milliliters um someone said you'll probably see quicker results um the issue is i don't know at 20 milliliters um what is what is the dosage that she's taken um even in the liposomal community like especially people who have been taking it for years um you know or even people who are just like in that business are like you need to be taking like 5,000 milligrams and the thing is those are the people who are still getting their glutathione IVs. So it's like not only are they doing, you know, basically 
the most, I would say, accurate way of getting glutathione, like just put it right in your vein, and the most expensive, but they are still taking glutathione on their own daily, and it's still like, take at least 5,000, like, you know, everyone's like, take it, take it, take it. Um, so that's for liposomal. Now I'm taking right under 5,000, I'm taking 4,000, and just by the bile production, because obviously rectal is a lot different than taking liposomal, which would be taking orally. Um, when I take liposomal glutathione, when I take acetyl, I never notice any bile, but if you want to simulate your bile production, you could do coffee enemas every day, to be honest. It's going to be a little different for everyone, but I'm noticing just the bile is really helping with the glow. Honestly, maybe I could have gotten more of a glow if I was taking more of the S acetyl. You know, maybe if I was taking more of the liposomal glutathione, but I wasn't. I was I was taking, you know, basically like the bare minimum, so that's hard for me to answer. Um, more people saying like they were drinking for like the first month, so they feel like, you know, they kind of wasted some of their money. Um, I, I feel the exact same, like, you know, and it's really, really hard since like, you know, the world is all weird because of like the pandemic, so a lot of people want to like just have fun and like, you know, stop thinking about whatever's going on in their life and like you know you want to like relax more than ever now but um yeah <laughs> it uh it isn't the best to drink um on it like yeah so instead our coffee enemas a must uh if you go the rectal glutathione route or can you skip the co coffee enemas and just do glutathione um so and like i was on my stuff i was doing a coffee enema every single week Sadly, I've not done a coffee enema since the last time I made a video about it, um, but I would like to get back into it because I feel like it's just a good way to like clean out all of like um, the debris that backs up because, you know, every time you go to the bathroom, number two, I'm saying, you don't really get everything out. And so this is just a good way just like to clear everything that you're missing out. Um, on days that I was doing the coffee enemas, I still would do my rectal glutathione. So that was when I was doing the rectal glutathione twice a day. And so in the morning, if I was doing the coffee enema, sometimes I would just add the glutathione to the coffee enema and just do it that way. Cause I'm, I'm leaving it in my body for at least 15 minutes. Usually it's longer than 15. Cause if you think about the time that it takes you to get everything in your body, you know, it's going to be a couple minutes more. And so, yeah, so I would just add the glutathione to the coffee enema and then I would just take my little liposomal vitamin C and either drink that or if it was liposomal pills, I would, you know, eat the pills or whatnot. And then, you know, that would be my dose for the day. Um, if I didn't add it to the coffee enema, then I would wait till the enema and everything was all out and then I would just do my dose. Um, and yeah, and then later that night I would do my second dose, but I was, um, I had my doses like at 2000 milligrams each dose. So I just had it broken up. Continuing on. Yeah, this is someone who said it doesn't work for me because I put it in for eight minutes, then had to go. Yeah, I, I totally understand. Like I literally did that and I was like, crap, I, I can't make it to 10 or 15. So just, you know, back to what I said about make sure you've gone to the bathroom for the day. If you have not, then all of that waste that needs to come out, it's, it's working against you and it's gonna make you really have to go. Um, and then also maybe try to just lower the dosage and um, see if you can keep in more that way. Um, someone said the Santiva pills for 168. I don't know about um, Santiva, I've never used it. Um, so I can't really say if that is a good brand or not. Um, Will I ever go back to my original skin tone? I, mean, I hope not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, like you, you can, like if you stop, obviously, because, and it, it's really simple. It's just about your sun exposure. So like if you stop, obviously you're gonna keep your results for a while. Um, that's what I noticed after I did it for a year. I got really close to like the 12 month mark and then I stopped. This was in the beginning of 2020. Um, I kept my skin tone for a while, but then I started like, you know, living my life, you know? So sometimes you're gonna be outside and, you know, maybe you're standing in line or something, you have shorts on or like a short sleeve shirt. So like slowly but surely my skin started going back. And then, you know, I have videos on here where you guys can see me doing a peel and I was doing a chemical peel and I was telling you guys, hey, I'm not on glutathione right now. I haven't been on glutathione for months. Let's just see what this can do. Cause like I was trying to like reverse it. So yeah, like, this is something like, obviously you can go back. I think it's a mixture of your sun exposure and also a mixture of how long have you been on it because most people and even um, I think someone asked the doctor like what's gonna happen with my skin after two years of use and she claims that the doctor said 
that after two years of use you're, you've like trained your skin like it's going to be difficult it's not going to just start reverting on its own like obviously you can still tan so if you go outside and are in the sun like you're going to still tan but it's it's going to be very difficult and um i kind of think about how people who are on certain acne medications for a while and like they do it for so long and then all of a sudden it's like oh my skin is healed <laughs> Or like people who like pluck their eyebrows like so in the same area and then like over time like it just doesn't grow back there. So assuming you do anything long enough, after a while you're just, there's going to be no need. Like it, your skin's just going to stay that way. But I could be completely wrong. This is just me thinking out loud. So don't take my word for it. Um, I feel like you tried every glutathione out there besides IV. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel too. Um, in your opinion, which gave you the most noticeable results? I gave up my glutathione journey, but wait long ago because it was so costly. You're not like wrong about the cost. Like, yeah. Anyone who's trying to get into it, just go ahead. Um, the bag that I was talking about in my last video, um, it's you want the 500 gram one, which the 500 gram one is like $200. Uh, I think it's like 230 or something or 220. Um, honestly, that's going to be the cheapest, like that's going to be the best for your money, um, honestly. And it's going to last you so many, so many, so many months. Um, that's if you're taking like a lot of it. If you're only doing 4,000 milligrams a day, like I'm doing right now, it's probably going to last you over six months. So that's just, that's my recommendation. If you could just save up just to get that bag, um, you would really be golden. Then you're only going to be, your monthly cost is just going to be in a, uh, finding a vitamin c you know that works for you which i really like the liposomal vitamin c's but you know that's just up to you and what fits in your budget um with the s-acetyl i obviously i i do this results like i was talking to you guys like about my arm and like how the suntan was and like how i can't even see any of it anymore which is funny because back in july when i got my bichectomy and they took out the fat in my cheeks um i told you guys i got like a really bad sunburn i was wearing a top like this and i was outdoors and even though my arms were covered it basically just tanned my entire back um, but on the other side, the other side was in the shade, but this side was in the sun and that stayed for months. We're talking, that happened in July, August, September, October, like I was still seeing it in like November. So, but I had just started getting back on glutathione and so it's like, you know, without glutathione that would have, it just stays so long. Um, but obviously if you already have like a good glutathione supply in your body and you're already on it It's like what happened back in December when I got that awful suntan <laughs> on my skin um, Thankfully that was able to fade away in no time. So I'm So thankful for that, but um, yeah, obviously I was just on acetyl so we know the acetyl works It's just I wanted to take more of it and so it's just so expensive that you know I can't take as much of acetyl as I would like <laughs> So it just it's more helpful for me just to do the rectal syringe with the reduced glutathione. Um S acetyl powder. I haven't been able to see the S acetyl powder. Um so if I find that, like I would love to find it. Um Yeah. Um someone's saying the S acetyl powder don't buy it because it's fake or something. Ooh. I don't know. And then someone said, oh, well, I'm going to, okay, so they're saying there's a British company and basically they have um, a glutathione and they're saying it's S-acetyl powder and it's fake. And then someone else said, well, I'm getting one from a U.S. company called Botany. I don't know. I've looked for S-acetyl powder. I've never been able to find it. So I don't know about the powder, but um, obviously if it's more money than reduced, just go ahead and just get the reduced. Like the reduced is going to work. Um. It's just obviously the way you have to take it, like with the S acetyl, you get to just take it orally. Um, with a reduce, you have to, you know, put it up your butt. <laughs> so yeah, I think we'll stop um, the questions there. Obviously, if you guys have more, just leave them um, in the comment section. But yeah, that's that. Sadly with fractal, you know, it does smell bad. Like it does smell bad. It is gassy and um, I'm waiting to see if things are going to calm down after my body gets used to it. Right now my body is still, it's still different, so it's still a shock. So I'll update you on that, but um, so far the drawback is just having to deal with the gas after I do it, like the gas for the next couple hours. 
and then obviously I'm having to go to the bathroom because I'm producing more bile so it's like it's not like I'm just producing some bile and going number two it's like it's it continues going even hours after I've already done it um so it's kind of something you you're gonna want to time when you're obviously not around like a whole lot of people and you know yeah or you're just gonna be like trying to hold it in all day like it not holding it in but like just gas and just you know there's stuff that's actively working and so I'm really really hoping that this is gonna like calm down and like this will be easier and like I can go ahead and like I can take a dose in the morning if I want to and I don't just have to do it at night but so far for me it's just like yeah take it at night a couple hours before bed and then just I'm dealing with it you know in privacy 